But it's cool. Now I'm 36. Some shit is changing. Definitive questions about my future are arising. Like the marriage thing is a question again. Like I'm 36 now, so that 10 year patriarchy grace period that men get, that is also over. <laughs> It was there, now it's gone. And that's fine, but the weird thing is, with marriage, I don't think it's for me. I don't think it's a thing I want to do. I'm not one of those, ah, fuck marriage or whatever. It's just not for me, right? And I feel like I was way more enthusiastic about getting married when I was younger than I am now at 36. And I feel like that's a trend. I feel like you're way more enthusiastic and idealistic about the institution when you're younger than when you get older. And I was trying to figure out why that is. The first reason I think that you want to get married when you're young is because when you're a young Indian, everything in your life is conditioning you to want to get married. Yeah, like every young Indian has had some version of this conversation where an older person will sit you down and be like, Beta, get married now. Because otherwise afterwards, no, you won't find only anybody. People will finish. <laughs> Which is kind of bullshit. The other reason, the other reason I think that young people want to get married more than older people is this. When you're young, like in your teens or twenties, you see a lot of weddings. In your thirties, you see a lot of marriage. <laughs> and the two give you wildly different perspectives. <laughs> Weddings are the sales pitch. Marriage is the after-sales service. <laughs> right? This is a very big difference between weddings and marriages. Like for example, if you don't know anything about India, and I just show you a photograph of the Taj Mahal, of the Agra Expressway, and evening Aarti at Varanasi, you will say, oh fuck, what's Uttar Pradesh? <laughs> <laughs> but then if I show you an Anurag Kashyap movie <laughs> or a Prakash Shah movie or fuck it, a newspaper. So you will see that you should go to Goa. You should drive to Goa, then it's okay. And that is the difference between weddings and marriages. Now the thing is, some young people here may look at that analogy and be like, that's brilliant. I'm going to use that the next time an older person brings up marriage. <laughs> Does not work, all right? Does not work. First of all, in general, when I tell older people I don't want to get married, I'm just speaking my truth. But for some reason, older people see it as an invitation to debate. <laughs> I have no idea why. Not once in my life have I said, oh, I don't want to get married. Discuss. <laughs> not once. Not once! But older people start and they have the same arguments all the time. Like, yeah, but don't you get lonely? So? You think married people never get lonely? Have you ever met a married person? <laughs> Single biggest learning of my 30s is this. Just because somebody is right next to you doesn't mean they're with you. Yeah. You know what? I don't even have a joke there. I just got tired of that depressing thought being in my head alone, so... <laughs> Return present. Like, it's true, but people are going to don't you get lonely? Yes, I do. So then, then I do the same thing that married people do when they get lonely. I go sleep with someone I'm not married to. <laughs> <laughs> 